Oh, welcome, Waffle Wolfettes. So we are back with the brilliant Bug Snacks on the PlayStation 5. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, what we're going to be doing today is we are going to continue trying to persuade Gramble, the local vegetarian, to come back to Snacksburg. Now, the reason why Gramble left Snacksburg was because when Lisbert went missing, she was no longer bringing food back to Tan. So all of the residents started getting hungry for bug snacks. So they decided to attack Gramble's house and try to eat all of Gramble's little bug snacks friends. So for that reason, obviously, Gramble was very, very angry, especially with Wambus. And he has decided to leave Tan and he's now living on the beach with his little friends. So the way to convince him to come back to Snacksburg is to show Gramble that I am a friend of the bug snacks and to lure all of his little friends back to him and then he will be more inclined to come back to Snacksburg with us. Now we already captured a couple of his little orange centipede friends but because we captured them in our traps they wasn't very happy so Gramble was pretty annoyed with me. So when we find the next lot of his friends which I think are Queebles we need to capture them by not actually capturing them we need to actually like lure them with a chocolate ball and then we need to bring them back to Gramble. So what we're going to do is we are going to cover our little hamster strawberry ball here in chocolate and then we need to get a couple of Queebles to chase the ball all the way back to Gramble. Now the problem with this little mission that we're doing at the moment is these crab things over here also like chocolate. So if they spot the buggy ball covered in a bunch of chocolate, they will come running over, pick up the ball and run off with it. So you want to try and lure these Queebles back but not let that stupid crab see the ball covered in chocolate, otherwise it will cause all kinds of problems for you. So let's try and get this done. Now where's that Queeble gone? Actually, you know what? I think there's one around here. I think we need to, yeah, we need to get two. I think there might be one around here somewhere. So we can lure this one over first. Let's have a look. Right, so we've got that Queeble there and it doesn't look like there's anything around here to cause me any problems. And I think there might be another one down here, maybe. Is there another one down here? I think there's another one down here. Because the Queebles are pretty much Kiwis with a spoon in their face. That's what a Queeble is. Ah, there it is. I think the only problem with this is trying to get him to go up those stairs. Actually, we might be able to lure two of them at once. Let's try and do that. Right, so where's that crab? I suppose what we could do is I suppose we could capture one of these crabs. Yeah, if we capture the crab, then it'll stop causing me a load of problems. So if we just quickly lure this crab over with some chocolate. And then we capture it. There we go. Now we ain't got to worry about him grabbing the Queeble every time we try and lure it back to Gramble. <laughs> right, so what we're going to do is we're going to get our little buggy boy out. We're going to cover it in chocolate. And then what we need to do is we need to get the Queeble to follow it all the way back to Gramble. I don't know if the Queeble sees me if he's going to start getting all like scared and stuff. So we have to watch out for that. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> oh, don't start bumping it. Oh, no, he saw me. That's it, that's it, that's it. Yes! Just trying to get up this ramp is a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> Same with the other side as well. Look at, look at his little tongue face every time he rams me. Yeah, oh, look, we can get both of them to follow us, hopefully. Stop pushing the buggy ball, Jesus! Right, I'm just going to try and lure one back at a time because doing two at once is a bit of a nightmare at the moment because they keep bumping into each other. It's very difficult to do this because you can't really, you can't really uh, aim the buggy ball anywhere because if you get too close... Then the Quee ball will start running from you. Just make sure the Queeble doesn't bump into anything at all. Because when they bump into stuff, it sort of stops them following the buggy ball. Joey, you're back! Alright, come on then. Let's go and get the other Queeble. Oh, <laughs> 
Lovely. I don't think we've got any other missions to do at the moment, have we? I think once we're done uh, talking to Granbo, we need to speak to, I think, a character named Wiggle. She's a character that keeps on singing like a uh, very sort of... Um, jazz music so we have to speak to her she's probably one of the most aggravating characters in the entire game to be honest <laughs> but we're gonna have to speak to her as well and see what she wants because we need to bring her back to snacksburg because that's your main mission bring all of the residents back to snacksburg and try to find out what happened to lisbert and then also study the uh bug snacks at the same time i love that little face that comes up that little emoji Don't you ever leave me again! <laughs> Ashwee, what a name. Lovely. Oh, look at his face. I thought you'd look a little bit more happy than that, mate. You don't look very happy at the moment. You look pretty sad. What's the matter with you, buddy? Oh, there we go. That's... No, no, he's sad again. <laughs> You're alright, Gramble. What's the matter, mate? I got your bug snacks back again. You did it! Oh, my kin are all together again. I'm so happy I could cry. Here goes. <laughs> I'm ready to head back to the ranch. Thanks for all your help. I want you to take Sprout with you. He's always wanted a life of adventure. I'm just holding him back. Sprout, your papa's got a job to do. All your friends are going to a new home. You're going with this nice grumpus right here. I'll miss you something fierce, but it's okay. You can come see Papa anytime. <laughs> you take care of Sprout. Or else. Don't know if my, uh... Don't know if my capture card is recording this in, like, a very sort of, like, washed-out kind of way. Like, my... Yeah, it looks like my, um... And we're back. Sorry about that. For some reason, my capture card decided it would be hilarious to start recording in black and white. So if the first five minutes of this video look a little bit off colour-wise, I do apologise. I've restarted the capture card and everything is recording properly now. But yeah, the first five minutes of this video might look a little bit off. I'll try and fix it in editing, but there's only so much I can do. So yeah, sorry about that. I'm not quite sure what the hell happened. It did that when I was recording Astro's Playroom a couple of months back. And I had to do so much faffing around in Sony Vegas to try and get the colour to look somewhat normal. And I think I managed to do it because nobody complained about the Astros Playroom videos. So I think I managed to do it. But it was a lot of tedious, irritating work. So yeah, if the first five minutes do look a bit off, I do apologise. Right, so Granbo has now gone back to Snacksburg. So we can go back to Snacksburg now and we can interview him. Or we can have a look around on the beach and we can find Wiggle, which is the woman that was singing to him in the last video. And we can see what she wants us to do to persuade her to come back to Snacksburg as well. We'll quickly try and find Wiggle and have a chat with her because we're in the area so we might as well get it done. Also, I think a bunch of other new snacks have appeared because uh, Granbo has left and it seems like there's a new, a new bunch of bug snacks that have appeared now. I think I already caught one that you might not have seen. Yeah, I caught a lovely sweetie pop. I don't think you saw that because I restarted the capture card. But um, I caught a sweet uh, lollipop. This one looks new as well. What's that? A Tropica bug. <laughs> Stays hidden forever once scared or at least until an aggressive snack attacks. Actually, I've got an idea. So these guys, they go in the bushes, didn't they? Right, so what we can do, right, if we scare him, so he's going to stay in that bush indefinitely now. He won't come out until you leave the area, like completely leave the area. So I think once they get, like, if you bump into the bush, I think they come out, but they run straight to another bush. So if we put, like, a trap here, I don't know if this will only work with crabs, but if we, uh, if we lure this little queeble over... I don't want it to bump into the trap. If we get him to bump into that bush and then we can quickly capture this tropic bug. It worked. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to work. Very nice. Lovely. New snack captured. A tropic bug. 
We haven't caught one of these guys yet, have we? We did scan them, I think. Yeah, so I think what you need to do to capture them is I think you just need to put some chocolate on one of these little, like, strawberries. And then I think they eat it and they get fat. And then you can go and net them quickly. Yep, there we go. <laughs> well, he didn't eat the bug snack. He just ate the chocolate off of his body. <laughs> I love hearing their little voices through the uh, dual sense controller. Oh, there's Wiggle. Right, let's see what she wants. I really don't want to speak to Wiggle because she is probably one of the most aggravating characters in the entire game. Except for Befika, obviously. Oh, God. Oh, God. Aloha, darling. Welcome to Wiggle Wiggle Bottom's steamy walking tour. Lucky you, you get an autograph. Oh, I can see you're utterly starstruck. Don't fret, darling. I always have time for my fans. Will you come back to Snacksburg? <gasps> you want me to come back to town? Darling, it will have to wait. I simply cannot rest until I find my muse. And by muse, I mean bug snacks. Change starts from the outside in, darling. If I want new ideas, I need a new look. How about a wild new hairdo? Get me a pineantula and we'll see what we can do. Okay, get you a pineantula. Those are the ones that stay underground, didn't they? I think we need to get those out by covering them in chocolate and then waiting for the grapple, aka the crab, to grab hold of their head and pull them out the ground. And that's how you catch them, I think. And you'll probably catch the, uh, uh, the crab at the same time as well. So you'll probably get two for the price of one. Okay. Right, let me just get a thumbnail. Right, stay there a minute. Now, I've been trying to think what these characters remind me of. And I think I've remembered what they remind me of. They actually remind me of, uh, you know, that film, The Lorax. Or it might be a book. I think it might be a book and a film. But I think it's The Lorax. That's what the characters in this game remind me of. The Lorax in various different colours. <laughs> Especially this one right here, because it's orange. Right, let's go and get a Pinantula. Now, we also met another character in the last video. She was like a scientist lady, and she gave me this uh, injection that will allow me to choose which part of the body I change with each bug snacks. So I guess that's why I needed it, because now we can change her hair specifically into a pineantula. So, makes sense. Right. So, to get these pineantulas out of the floor, I think we need to... We're going to have to... We have to plan this perfectly. Because once the crab grabs them, it's going to run off towards its lair. So if we put if we put the trap near the lair, and then we get some chocolate. Right, now we're going to have to get ready for this. <laughs> Brilliant! That went perfectly. I caught a crapple and a pineantula. Lovely. My uh, inventory is currently full though. You can upgrade your inventory, but we can't do that just yet. I think we have to wait until we've spoken to uh, uh, Grandpa a few times back at Snacksburg. You alright, Lorax? How you doing? Oh, look. There we go. I can get a better thumbnail, thumbnail now. There was a bunch of little purple arrows in the uh, background ruining my thumbnail, so we can make a nice one now. There we go. What do you think about that? What do you think about that, Wolf and Wolf? It's a nice thumbnail, ain't it? Shame about the uh, UI. <laughs> All right. Pinantula. <laughs> Is it the head we want to do? Mm. Woo! Yeah, that struck a chord. With a new head, I can think new thoughts. That's the magic of bug snacks. Now my creative juices can flow. Mm, I know I'm flowing. I'm flowing. This flow is more of a dribble. I need you to turn it up, darling. Find me a grape skeeter. They're too fast for Grambler or I to catch, but maybe you can find a way to slow them down. Oh, I've already done that. Well, that was bloody easy, wasn't it? Good job we captured one of those. <laughs> those are those little flying green bug snacks over there. Those are the grape skeetos. Okay. 
Let's get that done then. I'll tell you, I'm not too sure. I think you might be a worse character than Befika. And I think we speak to you quite a lot more than Befika, so that might be even more annoying. Some bug snacks are only around at certain times. You can scan evidence in the environment to get a clue about when to find them. Yeah, I think uh, the grape skeetos only come out during the day, and because it's now night time, they've vanished, see? That's why there's clues on the floor to let me know. But we've already captured one anyway. Where did Wiggle just go? What are you doing down there, Wiggle? What you walk away from me for? So yeah, if you want to capture these, make sure it's daytime. As you see, you can scan the evidence to let you know. But not when it's raining. So if it's raining, you can't find them. And it has to be during like the day, I think. Can we change any body part? Look fabulous. The colors are striking, no? And now the ideas will flow. Mm-hmm. They gon' flow. Ooh, any second now. Come on now. Uh, I assure you. Uh, oh, who am I kidding? I have nothing. There simply isn't a snack on this beach that can give me the inspiration that I need. Which is why you should look in the desert. I need a look that pops, a look that's hot. Darling, I would be so delighted if you could go to the Scorched Gorge and catch two pop ticks. <laughs> oh, we have to go to the desert anyway because there's going to be two important characters that we need to persuade to come back to Snacksburg. So we're going to have to go there anyway. So we might as well do that. And whilst we're on our way to the desert, we can have a chat with Granbull and uh, do the interview with him. <laughs> I love it how the bloody bug snacks keep running away from me. I am literally the only person in this game that doesn't eat you. Well, besides Granbull, but I'm the only person that don't eat you. I mean, I do capture you, but I don't eat you. I suppose I do capture them and feed them to other people, though, so that is pretty bad. But I don't actually eat them, and they don't know what happens to them when they get captured, because they never see me feeding them to other people. Mind you, I think they just saw me feed a grape to Wiggle, so maybe that's why they're scared of me. But then again, you, you were scared of me before I'd done anything in the game, little Strabby over here. <laughs> All right, let's go and have a quick chat with Granbull, do the interview with him, and if I've got enough time, I'll head over to the desert. But yeah, this uh, video might be a little bit of a disaster, because I was thrown off a little bit thanks to uh, the capture card messing up. So my commentary seems a little bit shitty in this video, I do apologise. I'm having a lot of bad luck lately with my commentary, there's stuff going on outside the house that creates noise, you know. Things going wrong with technology, it's been a right bloody nightmare lately. Right. Philbo wants to talk to you. Oh, no. Philbo, we're not doing that yet. I know what Philbo wants to do. We're not going to do that just yet. Oh, look. Gramble's come face to face with uh, Wambus. Because we know Wambus doesn't like Gramble and Gramble doesn't like Wambus. And I think Wambus was the main guy trying to break into his house to eat all of his bug snacks when Lisbeth went missing and they started getting hungry. <laughs> It's going to be a bit of a domestic now, isn't there? It's going to be a bit of a domestic. Well, well, well. Look what the snack dragged in. Oh, I wouldn't have come back if I knew you were here. That's so. Well, I ain't about to leave now. Oh, yeah? Me neither. Then I reckon we're neighbors again. Howdy, neighbor. I got my eye on you, Wambus Trouble Ham. You best keep your eyes on your snacks. Seems like they're getting away from you. Oh, Charlie, where'd you run off to? <laughs> Lovely. But yeah, it's going to tell you about it eventually anyway, but you can donate bug snacks to Gramble, and the more you donate, uh, the bigger your bag inventory will become and then you can hold a lot more bug snacks, which is very useful, especially if you're trying to go to an area and get a bunch of different missions done. You might need to catch like 10 different bug snacks sometimes because sometimes people want like three different bug snacks for a certain mission. So uh, making your inventory bigger 
it's pretty important otherwise you're gonna to have to do a lot more back and forth than you would have to do if you didn't upgrade it if you did upgrade it I mean right let's uh, have an interview with Gramble quickly and then I'm gonna end this video this might be a little bit shorter than usual but I'll rather start fresh in the next video because this one's been a bit of a pain in the ass. <laughs> Where the hell did you go, Grandpa? I want to give you an interview, buddy. Where's he gone? How the hell did you get over there? You flipping teleported. <laughs> hey. How you doing, buddy? Have time for an interview. I've uh, never done an interview before. Um, how does it work? Um, I ask you questions and you answer them. <laughs> Start interview. <laughs> Who are you? Uh, Gramble Giggle Funny. I look after all the bug snacks in town and make sure they don't wander off. Lovely. Why come to Snack Tooth Island? I heard Lizbert was gathering up some grumps to be part of her new family. And I thought I could really use one of those. You don't have a family? I did, but then they... Uh, can we talk about something else? Thoughts on bug snacks? Well, they're just the cutest little things, aren't they? I don't understand how anybody could look into their googly little eyes and want to eat them. But everyone does eat bug snacks. Uh, um, well, they don't eat none of mine, and that's what counts. Why did you leave town? We already know why he left town. I'm pretty sure he told us in the last video. Without Liz to bring in snacks, everybody got mighty hungry. They done treated my barn like a grocery store. I held them off for a while, but I should have known Wambus never quits. What did Wambus do? The next night I woke up to him throwing my snacks into a sack. I panicked and I let the rest go free. Broke my heart, but it's better than them getting eaten. I left that night for the beach and started rebuilding my family. Are your bug snacks safe from Wiggle? <laughs> no, they are definitely not safe from Wiggle. Maybe. Wiggles a lot, but she's got a good heart. If she really likes me, she'll learn to love bug snacks the way I do. No, no trust me, she won't. She will not do that, Gramble. <laughs> Any info on Lizbert? Lizbert? She'd bring me lots of new friends to take care of. Sometimes we'd work together training my little ones. Sometimes she'd ask for one and I'd have to say goodbye. Well, that's depressing. What would she do with the bug snacks? I like to think they're all like Sprout, helping out like little sidekicks. But sometimes she didn't get enough on the hunt. She always liked to bring something back for Agabelle. Can we talk about something else? So you pretty much gave your little friends to Lizbert to feed to people and you knew what she was doing with them but then you get annoyed when Wambus, who is starving, breaks into your barn to eat some of your bug snacks. <laughs> what happened to Lizbert? Sometimes I wake up at night and I'm out of bed, lost in the woods. I think I see Lizbert out there watching me like a vengeful spirit. Uh, can, can we talk about something else? We're done. You can relax. Ooh, I don't think I like interviews very much. Here, Lizbert dropped this in my barn back when. I never got around to giving it back. I don't know what it's for, but you can have it if you promise never to interview me again. <laughs> I can promise. Gramble gave you a diary key. Check your journal for details. Okay, I'm going to have to end the video now, Wolf and Wolfettes. Hopefully the next video goes a lot better than this bloody one. Hopefully my capture card doesn't like to uh, suddenly run back to the 1900s and record in black and white again. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Wolf and Wolfettes. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share and join the pack today.